Hi guys, welcome to this second tutorial in this series of programming PIC microcontroller with Micro C Pro for PIC compiler. In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to switch on and off an LED connected to a PIC microcontroller. This same concept could be used to switch on and off other devices like a relay, a motor, and so on. An LED is semiconductor light source when forward biased it emits light. LEDs are used mainly to indicate the status of electronic circuit, for example to indicate that the power is on or off, but nowadays they are used in many applications including lighting and beam detection. An LED is similar to a diode, it has two legs, the longer leg is the anode or positive connector and the shorter leg is the cathode or the negative connector. The intensity or the brightness of the LED depends on the amount of forward current that passes through the LED but you must not exceed the maximum allowable forward current as we could damage the LED or draw more current from the peak output pin that the peak can handle to damage the peak. A peak microcontroller can source or can sink 25 milliamp per pin. So whenever we are designing our circuit, we have to know the typical voltage drop of the LED so that we can know the value of the resistor we should put in series to limit this current because it has to be below 25 milliamp so that we don't damage the peak output pin and it also has to be below the maximum allowable current that can go through the LED so that we don't damage the LED. You can get this information from your LED data sheet. This table shows a typical characteristic of different LEDs depending on their colors. Red LED normally drops around 2 volt with a 20 mAh forward current and orange LED drops 2 volt with 20 milliamp, a yellow LED is 2.1 volt, a green LED is 2.2 volt, a blue LED is 3 volt, an infrared LED is 1.2 volt with 50 milliamp current. So when we know the current and the voltage, we can use Ohm's law to determine the value of the series resistor. If we are using a red LED as in our circuit, the series resistor is going to be 5 volt, which is our supply voltage, minus 2 volt, which is going to be the voltage drop across our LED, divided by the current, we're going to use 10 milliamp, so that we don't draw too much current from our peak microcontroller. 10 milliamp is more than enough for an LED. So the series resistor is going to be 300 ohms, or 0 0.3 kilo ohms. You could also use something different, like 220 if you want to draw more current which is gonna be around 13.6 milliamp to increase the brightness of your LED so any value of the resistor which is around this value could work without any problem that's why we use 320 if we use a different LED like an infrared LED you could understand that this resistor value is gonna change but if you are using an orange or a green LED because the voltage drop is more or less the same, then you can use the same resistor. An LED can be connected to a peak microcontroller in two different ways. We can connect our LED in current sourcing mode. This basically means that we are sourcing a current from the microcontroller through the LED to ground. Or you can connect your LED in current sinking mode, which is basically means we are sinking a current through the LED into the peak microcontroller. In both ways, the LED is still gonna switch on, but what you have to consider is, when you are connecting the LED in current sourcing mode, it means we have to put a one or logical high to the output pin so that the LED can be on. If we set a one or logical high on B0, then there's gonna be a current path from the peak microcontroller through the LED, the LED is going to switch on to ground. 
and to switch off the LED, we are gonna set our B0 to logical 0. So in our code, when we are gonna write our code, we are gonna set B0 to 1 to switch on our LED. And if you want to switch it off, then we are gonna set B0 to 0. But in current syncing mode, as you can see, we've got already 5 volts through the peak microcontroller. So to switch on the LED, we have to set a 0 to the output pin, which in this case is RC5. So whenever we set RC5 to 0, then we're going to have a path of current from high to low. The LED is going to be on, but we set RC5 to 1, we're going to have a 1 to 1, then there's not going to be any current flow then the LED is going to be switched off. So there is no basically difference, but in code, it's going to be the opposite, a one to switch on and one here to switch it off. So let us go to our code and write a code to switch on our LEDs at an interval of one second on and off. This is the code that we used in the previous tutorial. As we have learned, the first thing is to set the direction of our port depending on your peak microcontroller that you are using. There are different registers that are used to control the input-output pins of your peak microcontroller. We're going to start with the tri-state register. The tri-state register determines the direction of each general purpose input-output pin. A logic one at a particular bit of the tri-state register makes the corresponding pin input and the logical zero makes the corresponding pin and output. If I use tri-state B, then it's gonna set the whole port as an output. We have another LED connected to RC5. We need to set the port C as an output pin as well. We're not gonna set the whole port C as an output because we're gonna show you that it's possible to set only a specific bit of a port if you don't want the whole port to be an output, you can set only the individual bit, which in this case is going to be bit 5, because we connected our LED to RC5, so we're going to set only bit 5 to 0. To do this, you can say trust C5 bit equals to 0. And the other register that is also important to consider is the NCL register. This register controls which analog channels are operational, if you set the Ansel register to zero, then the corresponding pin is going to become digital. And if you set it to one, then the corresponding pin is going to be set to analog. So we're going to say Ansel B goes to zero and Ansel C, we're going to set it to zero as well. This is going to set our port B and port C to become a digital pins. If you want to use, let's say, analog to digital converter, that you have to set that specific bit, Ansel 1, so that that bit can be an analog pin to read the analog values. The other register that we're going to use is the LED register. The LED register is used to write data to a port. So I can write a 0, I can write a 1 to a port so that it can become a high or a low. You can use the LED register. You could also use a port register, it can also write to the register, but it's not always reliable. But for PIC 16 series, PIC microcontroller, which don't have the LED register, then you have to, to use the port register. The port register is also used to read data from the port. Let's say if you are connecting something to the port like a switch, if you want to read the status of the switch, then you can use the port register. In this tutorial, because you're not going to read anything in the next tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the port register. In this tutorial, we're just going to use the LED register. So we said we're going to connect our LED to port B0, as we're not going to write to the whole port B, because we've got only one LED connected to port B0. So we're just going to select a specific bit. In this case, we're going to select bit 0. There is a way you can do this. You can say let B dot B0. After I delay of one second, then I can say let B B0 equals to 1. This is going to switch on only B0. And this is going to switch off only B0. Let us write the code 
for the other LED which is connected to port C, bit 5. As we have said it before, a diode which is connected in current sourcing mode, to switch it off we need to set that specific bit to zero. An LED connected in current syncing mode, we have to set that specific bit to one so that the LED switch off. We're gonna say let's see bit B5 equals to one. As you can see, to use the specific bit you can use B0 for the first bit, B1, B2, up to B7. You could use B or F. And to switch it on, we're gonna write Control V. Gonna write a zero. Let us build our project. Build. Build successful. Let's run our simulation. Run. You can see both LEDs are off after one second. They're gonna come on. Then after one second, they're gonna go off and so on. So basically, this is how you can switch on and off an LED. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to receive more tutorials in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you.